This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Sometimes it takes perseverance for an automotive idea to take hold, and sometimes it takes a bit of luck and timing. For the Volkswagen Passat diesel, it seems that patience and fortune are coming together for the midsize offering. Already established as an upper-end offering in the segment, the TDI version of the Passat took a while to win acceptance. Currently, VW officials say the low-horsepower, high-torque version accounts for about 35% of the nameplate sales. A true five-passenger vehicle with 102 cubic feet of interior space, this Passat also has the capability for very, very long runs between fill-ups. This is achieved with a relatively small block, two-liter, four-cylinder diesel. It's rated at 140 horsepower and 236 foot-pounds of torque. So in urban driving, it delivers the advertised 30 miles to the gallon, and on the open road, we get close to 40 to the gallon. As configured, it also meets clean air standards in all 50 states. Our test model was a front-wheel drive, dual-clutch, six-speed automatic DSG transaxle, which is nearly seamless in making transitions. However, it would be fun to try a manual gearbox with this power plant. One of the traditional complaints about diesels has been operating noise. Well, listen for yourself from inside the cabin while driving down a city street. We didn't find it too objectionable. Normally, VW offers the Passat in multiple trim levels, starting at the base S, then the mid-range SE, and on up. However, for the diesel version, look for it in the SE and SEL versions, at least for now. The Wolfsburg editions will eventually offer connected car technology for a more functional interface with smartphones and tablet devices. At the moment, the Passat is straddling a space between an average mid-size sedans and the entry luxury level versions. But holding that niche may become a little more difficult as competitors figure a way to add more features and keep the price point under control. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.